This is Duke University. Think of Mt. Gox as um, kind of a Bitcoin bank. They communicate with the network, but they are not part of the Bitcoin infrastructure. And Mt. Gox uh, started, uh, interestingly, um, as a trading card online exchange, Magic the Gathering. That's where the name comes from. Uh, and then they switched over uh, to a Bitcoin bank, became very um, popular. And it turns out that the way that they communicated with the Bitcoin network um, was problematic. There was a software issue that was well known well before um, this heist um, that happened. The problem was their software. And uh, hackers got to their software. And that's a lot different than hacking the Bitcoin network. It is a type of encryption that goes one way. So you usually think you encrypt something, then you get a key to undo it. No, this is just a one-way scrambling. And it's virtually impossible. It is theoretically possible to undo it, but um, the calculations involve, in order to do it with the fastest possible computing, the amount of power necessary, you'd have to put a ball around the sun and capture all of the energy for centuries. That's how secure this is. This is just not feasible to do it. And it doesn't matter if it's a supercomputer or a quantum computer. It all comes down to the minimal energy that you need to move uh, these bits.